recapture of allowance for qualified recovery assistance property. So if in any year after year that you claim special depreciation allowance for qualified recovery assistance property, the property ceases to be used in the, in the uh, Kansas disaster area, you may have to recapture as ordinary income the excess benefit you receive from claiming the special depreciation allowance. So once again, this is kind of a special type of situation. It was qualified property. Now it's no longer qualified property. You've got this big depreciation uh, benefit up front, which you might have to recapture in that situation. For additional guidance, see notice 200867 on page 307 of Internal Revenue Bulletin 200832. It's available on the IRS website. Recapture of allowance for qualified disaster assistance property if in any year after the year you claim special depreciation allowance for qualified disaster assistance property, the property ceases to be used in the applicable disaster area. You may have to recapture as ordinary income the excess benefit you received from claiming the special depreciation allowance. Similar concept applied here. The property was one type of property. It's supposed to be benefiting multiple years into the future. You got this massive upfront depreciation because you're using it in this area and then you cease to use it in that area even though it's a long-term property and we let you depreciate it all and expensing it upfront so you might have to recapture some of the depreciation.